Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me specially welcome you to this special presentation. This could represent one of the greatest truths you can ever encounter in life. So I want you to listen very carefully because you are about to be transformed. For us, it has been written in the sacred book. In the Bible, for instance, it says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. F true freedom is not by what you do, it's by what you know. And one of the greatest things you need to discover is who, you, who are you? Who is man? Man in this context represents male and female. Until we understand ourselves, what we are, our source, and the potentials that have been given to us, we cannot be relevant to ourselves, to our immediate environment, and even to the world. So what am I talking about? We are talking of a dimension of how you can discover who you are. Remember, St. Augustine was asked, he was a, a, called a mystic man who brought a lot of transformation to, to earth and to humanity. St. Augustine was that man that could stand in a place for days, communicating and changing things around. And he was asked, St. Augustine, what is the secret? Do you know the simple answer he gave to them? Man, know thyself. Man, know thyself. Since I read about that statement, I begin to think and make some researches on what is the secrets, the potentials that are within me and all mankind. Secondly, I read from the Bible in the book. Psalm 8, verse 3. And the Bible said, or says, When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast made. When I consider the heavens, beautiful heaven, the stars, the moon, and all that is there, the work of your fingers which you have made. The psalmist David said he began to wonder. And it says further, What is man that thou think about him? That you are mindful of him. You created all those beautiful heavens, monsters, but you are still mindful of man. So, what is man? And the son of man that thou visit him, visitest him, always. For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and has crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works, the works of your hands that has put all things under his feet. This is man that was created by God originally. One, little lower than the angels. Because why? We carry physical body. Which angel do not have? Our physical body is a limitation. If not, we could move without an aeroplane. Yes, angels move freely. So we are just limited by the carton, the body we carry. However, it's not useless, the body. is still useful, as you are going to discover shortly. Who is mad that you are mad for him? He said you have given him dominion over all things. Just imagine, all things is all things. Man was originally designed to have dominion over all things, including everything in the sky, what we call it demons or whatever. Anything on earth here, anything in the sea, 
with a shark or anything. Elephant. Man was supposed to have dominion over them. But today, very, very unfortunate, the earth and all things are having dominion over mankind. There's something missing. And that is what you've had to discover in this presentation. What is man? You need to discover how you were created as an image of God with all the potential to think and do things like God. You were created to continue the process of creativity. Man, know thyself. So, when I read this, I begin to think, I begin to investigate. What is there that man need to know? Still, I was fortunate in the year 20, 2001, when I, when I took the teaching on catechism, preparing for confirmation, according to the order of the Anglican Communion. And the plus, the first lesson that came, the first day, has been a surprise to me. And I've been wondering how many people who have passed through that training really understood this. As the teachers opened the book, which is called the Book of Common Prayer. The first question they asked us was, what are we by nature? And the answer readily came, we are part of God's creation, made in the image of God. Wow. Part of God's creation, made in the image of God. That is man. So you are unique you are a replica or you're supposed to be a replica of the image of god because as the second question we give a light to god loves loves fellowship communion companionship and he made man in such a way that man can have free companion fellowship iteration 24 hours of the day. Look at the physical question. What does it mean to be created in the image of God? And a wonderful answer was given. It means that we are free to make choices, to love, to create, to reason, and to live in harmony with God and with nature, with creation. Simple. We are in the image of God. To walk in harmony, to love, to create, wonderful. But how many people understand this dimension, all these privileges that we give it to man? So that is why this discussion is very, very urgent right now. If we really want humanity to be set free, psychologists, philosophers, they have said that humanity is still in the low base. So much hatred, so much killings. If man understands what we are or what human being represents, you can't just go and kill a fellow human being. No. That is to tell you the level of animalistic living, the business. Man has not risen. Despite the talk about technology and civilization, man, humanity is in the low level. So much religious activity, but men are not free. Men, humanity is not free. So, who is man? What are you? Is what we are discussing. I need to make sure that you listen to this. Share this with every human being on earth. Because humanity must be set free. You need to subscribe because we will give it a series of teachings that will help you to master this. And once you master who is man and what is man, who you are, I tell you, you will scale up above from the low level to the high level. You will be in the realm of what we call God's experience. God's experience.
nature can no longer hold you. Forces, spirit, and whatever people fear today can no longer hold you. Congratulations, what's more? What is man? The first definition of man is called Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. And by the Latin interpretation, Homo sapiens simply means man, the wise. So, which means every human being has been given wisdom, special wisdom. It's a seat of wisdom. You are a custodian of wisdom that's supposed to control the whole of the earth and all things in the sky, on earth, in the water. For God, as God interacts with you, the wisdom of God is supposed to be manifested in you. But behold, humanity that have not discovered this, we are told, will live and remain and die like animals. Because they have not discovered the wisdom. No wonder it can be said, the richest place in the world is the grave of human beings who have not discovered the potential that God has put in within them in their brain and, and on, we are unable to use it and they have been buried. Millions, trillions of people are buried with such resources. What I tell you, by the virtue of your counter with this teaching, you will not die until you empty your content. Yes, I assure you, because a revolution is about to take place in you right now. You are you're getting your freedom. This freedom, you know, I know a lot of you have tried prayer. You have tried fasting. No, 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 you miss it. It's knowledge fed before fasting, knowledge fed before um, prayers, before religious activities. If you don't have the knowledge, zeal without knowledge is sin, dangerous. And that's what I found many people in my head, in my environment, in my world that are going through. It's circle. It's circle, year in and year out. Because something is missing. The missing dimension is what you are hearing right now. Who are you? What is man? Man, Homo sapiens. We are told he originated from the hominids created by God in his image. The first form of human being we call hominids that we found on earth. And we are told that this first human being on earth we found in Africa. Africa is the region where man came from wonderful. But unfortunately, Africa is so poor. <laughs> you look around Africa. The 40 most poorest country in the world are in Africa. Today, poverty, hunger, injustice are just found in surplus. Including Nigeria, where I'm speaking from right now. Why? Do you know why? Because man, I mean you, we have not discovered all that God has given to us in our brain as human beings. We have not discovered and used the resources that are around us. We depend on foreign aid, foreign days, foreign days. Well, it's good to have foreign assistance, but that cannot help us. What can help us is for us to discover who we are and what we have. So let us go. You will, see, you will soon discover and be among the few that can set the earth free. So man is the greatest thing that we need to discover. Who is man? What is man? Man, in terms of creation, you need to discover that he's a tripartite being. If when we say man is the image of God, created the form, a tripartite being. What do we mean by tripartite being? A tripartite being means somebody created with a spirit, a soul, which is the mind, which is the brain, and the body. That's the first thing you should know about. That you have been created from God with his spirit, a soul, and you are living in a body. The body is just a cattle, the carrier of the real nature, the real image of God in man. 
The body is still having its own function, as we are going to see. So man is by nature to relate with God through the spirit that God has given to him. Spirit to spirit communication, direct, on daily basis. Is to use the brain to think, to create, and use the body to function on it. Relate with the environment, relate with other men. So, in any of these dimensions that you neglect, you cannot be empowered. You will be limited. So, that's why you see limitation by most human beings. They have not discovered their spirit man, nor their mental, their soul, their mind, their brain. So they are just carrying on with the body. It's not possible to have a breakthrough, to have a break even. So that is one of the greatest limitations I have discovered on earth. So who is man created by God and must be sustained by God? We are supposed to be part and parcel of God, one with God. Direct communication. You can see this, 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 this. direct. In fellowship, in communion, interaction, where God, where God give my instructions, and He relates to the soul and the body to carry out those instructions. That is what we're supposed to be, and that's what we are made for. Man is the greatest thing. God cannot fellowship with animals, nor plants, nor stone, but He decided to fellowship with man, and man could fellowship with nature. Do you know that everything around you here talk? Yes. The Reverend Father Dodo was giving instructions so that when you plug a bitter leaf, he says, speak to the bitter leaf. That bitter leaf hears. Animals hear. Just talk to a dog. They hear. So man is wonderful, created with such dimension to relate and control the earth, the environment for God. Today, the abuse of the environment by man is what we call is what is causing climate change. Man has abused the environment, so uh, the environment is revolting. The ozone layer eating because of man's activity. The only way to reverse the climate change challenge facing humanity is man himself by reversing his activity. Well, I am not going to go into that right now. That is another uh, topic which we are going to discuss. So you need to subscribe, get the teachings as we dish them out in various stages and step by step. Secondly, apart from being a spiritual being, man was created to have a heart that beat about 2.5 billion times in a lifetime. If you live for, for this time, 75 years, your heart will beat 2.5 trillion times. In this beating, which means, which means it's possible to have it beat for 4,200 times per hour. If you divide that, you have the heart beating for 4,200 times per hour. And pumping about 12 tons of blood in the body. Those blood circulated all over the body, carry oxygen, which help the body to function. Without the oxygen, without the blood circulation, the body dies. The moment your heart stops breathing, you are dead. So you must take care of the heart. No machine on earth has been ever created to work in such capacity. No machine. 24 hours eating. No stop. The moment your heart stops, it's gone. You can imagine. Is that not wonderful? Is that not fearful? You are, you are a design of God. It's only God that can do that. That's why you need to fear this God. You need to know this God and walk with this God. Not only that, He has given you a brain, which is the soul, which is the mind. I'm surprised in my interaction with human beings. Most people have not been able to differentiate their spirit from their souls. No wonder they cannot know God. They may be in religion, they may be in any church, they may be in any activities, any religious background, but as far as they have not discovered the dimension, the, 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 the differences between their spirits and their soul in relation to the body and the environment and God, they cannot know God. And that is one of the greatest pain we have in our generation. 
People sing, people dance, people fast, people pray, but they are not, they don't know God because they don't know themselves. But by the virtue of this teaching, you will know yourself, discover yourself. So your brain is another powerful tool apart from your heart, apart from your spirit, which God has put in you as a man. Your brain has about um, 200 and, uh, I mean 2.5 million gigabytes digital space. Which means this, your brain has no limit of the non of the amount of information it can store. You can read, you can memorize, you can put things in your brain, and your brain is ready to reproduce. So the space in your brain is waiting there for you to use. Two point five gigabytes of digital space that is there, lying fallow, not being used. Put your brain to use, and the world will mind you. Not only that, your brain has about 85 trillion neurons. Neurons are special cells in the brain that generate ideas. Your brain, uh, your brain is generating ideas, about 6,200 ideas, what we call thoughts per day. Thoughts. Ideas, 6,200 coming from your brain a day. But how much of this have you used? How much of this? That is what we are saying. All these ideas, 6,200 on daily basis, multiplied per years, per month. You see the number of people died and they are buried with these ideas. Not harnessed. So you need to discover who you are. Know the potentials in your brain. Well, your brain has so much, and I can't exhaust it here because I'm talking about the holistic man. However, I will simply refer you to this book, The Economy of the Mind. Written by me, it's on Amazon. Check it out. Google it, The Economy of the Mind. Or you can get it to your soft, to the soft copy from your, by, your, from, by your email. Read it, digest it. You will discover what your brain is. Is the one of the secrets ever secrets apart from God? The next secret you can ever discover is what God put in your brain. We have the PFC, the prefrontal cortex of the brain, so loaded, the executive part of the brain. Scientists have said, philosophers, psychologists, that a man or a woman that lives without discovering and using that part of the brain will die, live, remain, and die like an animal. Get this. You will discover the food your brain needs, how to set it up, how to make it to create and generate ideas. Now, in relation to who is man, your body is another dimension that you need to discover. Your body has been created by God with 30 trillion cells for different functions. 30 trillion cells are working in your body carrying different functions. So your body is another complex machine. No machine is as complex as that. Not only that, your body has about 263 bones arranged in such a way. Wow. I study part of medical science, anatomy. The day we were taken to anatomy lab, where you see these bones arranged from the skull, down to the neck, to every part of the body, you will know that there is a God. No human being, no force, no power can do that. That is God for you. The creator, the wonderful creator for that matter. With 263 bones, you have been given 600 muscles. There are 600 muscles arranged in every part of your body. Your body. 600 in terms of muscles there. You are carrying about. Not only that, you have 970 miles of blood vessels. 970 miles of blood vessels. If you lie your blood vessels arranged in your body, they are 970 miles. You can imagine, and that is what the heart is pumping, circulating blood through every day. Wonderful God. You have 400 taste board in your tongue for testing. 400, that's your small tongue. 
contains 400 taste buds. Not only that, you have been given 20,000 tiny hair stands in your ear. 20,000 tiny hair stands. They are there, 20,000, to pick different sound, different sort of sound that you can interpret. That is God for you. You are a wonderful and fearfully made being. You are not ordinary. You have been given 3,500 3, sweat glands in each square, each of the skin. 3,500 sweat glands that makes you to sweat, to remove thousands and keep your body safe. Keep your body warm, keep your body cold, keep your body healthy. Wonderful God. You are a wonderful creature. Discover who you are. You have been given 600,000 air dots to inhale in your nostrils. This is your nostrils. 600,000 air dots. They are there. And above all, 2,400 gallons of air daily comes into your system. 2,400 gallons of air coming to the nose, to those dots, and they are circulating in the body. So you need, you need to know how God made you. From your spirit being, from your brain, from your heart to your body, then you will know how to discover that you are a potential. You are a resource. You are not a waste. You are not a liability, but an instrument to transform the earth. And until you know this, you cannot make it part. It is God that has given you all these things, that has put this in there, for you to properly represent him on the earth here. God cannot come and live to work on earth here. He has given you all these things. No wonder. As we are told, you have been, you have, you have been given a space to act, to use all these potentials with 93 million miles on earth from the earth to the sun 93 million miles if the the, 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 the miles drop to 92 or 91 the whole earth will burn because the heat of the sun will be so much if it goes higher than 93 miles to the sky there the whole earth will frozen will be frozen that is God for you. Rightly position the earth from the sun so that you can act massively. That is what you are. We have been given by God 12 months in a year, 52 weeks in a year, 365 days in a year, 8,760 hours in a year. We have been given 52,560 minutes in a year. And we have been given 31,553, 31,53,600 seconds in a year. That is God for you, the creator, creating you, the most powerful machine. You are powerful more than any machine any man can create. True men like you, the aeroplane, have been designed and created. True men like you, the GSM we are using today, have been created, designed and created. True men like you, the vehicle have been created. True men like you, books have been written that are transforming the earth. Oh, recently, Joe Bezos, the owner of Amazon, with his crew, went to the, the orbit and stayed the number of days, moved from the earth to the other planet, the sky. They are human beings like you. The difference is that most few people have discovered who they are as men. What God has put in them. Man, know thyself. You are not a non entity. You are not a God baby. You are a creator, a creation from God, who is the spirit, to be his agent, the governor that transformed this earth. And you can only do that when you are connected with him. This fellow here, they are cut off from God. No communication. Because the spirit man, the spirit dimension, the spirit organ is not at work. It's there. They have only soul. 
and the body. So they cannot carry out instruction from God. But you can be privileged through <coughs> Jesus Christ's death on the cross of Calvary by his blood. You can your spirit can be renewed where God can dwell in. So you become a carrier of God through his spirit dwelling in you. Then you regain your originality. You regain your potential to become a transformer, a jet of change. That is what the Bible says, and it's being referred to as being born again. The regeneration of the dead spirit. Dead spirit. So that God can have his way. So, we are dis discussing with you. Who are you? What is man? A trapata being, created by God, with his a spirit, a soul, and a body for the transformation of the earth. You can no longer be limited. No. You cannot longer be limited. Where you have this knowledge. And I bet you, work with this knowledge. Dr. Amos Obi is my name. A reformer. A creative writer. A social entrepreneur. And one of the those global innovators for the UNSDG. You can reach me on WhatsApp for more counseling, more attention at plus two three four eight zero three zero eight nine nine six nine four. Subscribe to this channel so that you can get the best that will set you free and set every man free. Share this video to any human being you want to be free and definitely they will be free because this is knowledge that's set free. It's, one of, it's not one of those teachings. No, 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 no. This is not religious teaching. This is transformational, transformational teaching. You have been empowered to take over, to take charge of your environment, of the earth. Again, 